tolerant never Trumper threatens to gut Trump supporter like a fish liberals claim to be tolerant and inclusive until someone dares to disagree with them. That hypocrisy was on full display during a recent exchange on CNN when a leftist anti-Trump Republican lashed out at a fellow guest with threats for not having the same views. Rick Wilson is a GOP political strategist, but he's also a notorious never-Trumper who has made vile attacks on supporters of the president in the past. Wilson was up to his old dirty tricks on Thursday, when another panelist named John Frederick stated that the president's recent S-Thole comment about nations was about the economic reality of those countries, not race. Things got heated quickly after the anti-Trumper all but called his fellow guest a KKK member. Wilson flippantly told Fredericks to go on Amazon, order yourself a pointy white hat, head down to Home Depot, and get the wood to build a burning cross. The Trump supporter tried to take the high road and shrug off what can only be seen as a personal insult. Well, it's about economics, Rick. You can throw all the insults you want, and I appreciate it. Fredericks answered, but look, at the end of the day then Wilson went ever lower. No, John. You don't appreciate it, the leftist lashed out. You're a weak, impotent person who can't handle the fact that there are people who don't look like you. You hate that, you hate it so much, because you're so weak inside, Wilson spat out. Again, Fredericks shrugged off the personal slander and took the high road, pointing out that nothing the CNN contributor had just said was actually an argument. That's your substantive argument to me, Rick Wilson, who backed every losing candidate, Fredericks responded. Wilson's comeback. A direct threat. John, I will got you like a fish on the show, if you want to keep this up, Wilson growled. Welcome to leftist tolerance and acceptance. When somebody disagrees with them, they threaten to gut them like a fish. Rick Wilson is the same unhinged leftist who supported Hillary Clinton over Trump and smeared anybody who voted for the president as childless single man who masturbate to a nime, according to the New York Times. He also made lewd sexual comments to conservative commentator and Coulter. What a classy guy. It's worth remembering that this personal attack came about because of one reason, Frederick simply called a spade a spade and agreed with Trump's alleged comment that Haiti and many African countries are pretty crummy. Here's the actual definition of the word Trump used from the Oxford Dictionary, an extremely dirty, shabby, or otherwise unpleasant place. As Tucker Carlson recently pointed out, the entire reason so many migrants are fleeing places like Haiti is because their countries are shabby and unpleasant. Disliking the term Trump used is one thing. Flying into a rage because part of the world was accurately described is something else entirely. An invited guest on CNN is now being called a KKK member and threatened with violence for refusing to deny reality. This is a page out of Orwell's 1984, telling the truth is now off-limits, and everything must be covered up with doublespeak and innuendos. The left is essentially forcing people to repeat something they know is untrue, Haiti is actually a paradise, and it's racist to say otherwise, under threat and duress. That's a tactic that is straight out of the KGB or North Korea. Repeat that the West is evil, and communism is wonderful. Repeat it. You wouldn't want to be gutted like a fish, would you? The fact that this kind of intimidation to parrot narratives and lie about the world is happening in full view on CNN should alarm every American who believes in reality and honesty. This is deeply disturbing, and it needs to be exposed. Please press share on Facebook to help shine the light on this intimidation.